Hello, my name is Jim McVeigh. I'm a senior prototyping architect at AWS, and I'm here today to talk about application development for Backstage IO on AWS Solutions. This is the fifth chapter in the series, focusing on a front end deep dive. As described in the introduction video, there are multiple components comprising the solution. The user experience and UI customizations are contributed through Backstage front end plugins and leverage Backstage's extensible platform. This is the solution component that we're going to be focusing on. The solution provides four plugins. The AWS Apps plugin contains code delivering UI cards for AWS application information and management. When we walk through a demo, we'll see exactly how these UI components are surfaced in the application. The Scaffolder Backend Module AWS Apps plugin technically provides backend code. However, it contributes custom scaffolder actions, which allow software templates to customize the application creation and deployment process. So we're going to review how this works in this video. Also provided with the solution is a backstage reference repository. This directory contains sample content, which can be deployed to a GitLab repository. The solution can then reference the entity YAML files, deployment boilerplate projects, and software templates in this repository to give you a quick start and some ideas on how you can customize a deployment for your own needs. In this video, I'll use some of the software template YAML files in this repository to demonstrate customizations to software templates and how scaffolder actions are surfaced to users. Let's start by understanding the interaction of plugins. The AWS Apps plugin provides UI components such as cards, tabs, and pages to the UI. The plugin's README describes exactly how to add these UI components to your own Backstage application. When a user interacts with these UI components, they may need to make API calls to AWS. The AWS Apps Backend plugin provides an API endpoint through which all AWS API calls are routed and any required authorization for access is managed by this plugin. For example, any action requiring a call to start an ECS container or access application logs will be routed through the AWS Apps Backend plugin's API endpoints. AWS Apps Common is a lightweight isomorphic plugin providing models used by both the front-end and back-end plugins. Before diving into the UI, we'll also touch on the contributed scaffolder actions. Scaffolder actions registered with Backstage can be referenced as a step in a software template, giving the template author control over what sequence of actions they would like to execute when a user invokes their template. The application development for Backstage IO on AWS Solution provides seven actions that a template writer can leverage. These actions are shown here, but are also detailed in the README for the Scaffolder plugin. Let's take a look at the UI. In previous demo videos in this series for creating a serverless REST API application and the shared file system application, you may have already seen many of the UI contributions in the context of creating an application. All of the UI additions from the solution are specifically focused on the developer experience and their needs when creating and deploying apps for AWS. There is a custom AWS software catalog available from the navigation. This view is similar to the default Backstage catalog, however, it's been customized to focus specifically on AWS entities, including AWS environments, environment providers, AWS applications, and AWS resources. When a developer wants to focus on their AWS deployments, this is a convenient starting page to explore the AWS-related entities registered in Backstage. Let's dive into the customized view for an AWS application. Here we can see many contributions sitting alongside many of the default UI cards that came with Backstage out of the box. We see an About card, Relationships. The Links card will contain the application's routable endpoint to make it convenient to access. Since I'm viewing an application that has been deployed as a container to the AWS Elastic Container Service, I'm presented with an application state card. This card provides current information about the deployment and running status of the app, and also allows me to manage the application by starting and stopping it. As mentioned in the interaction description in the slides, gathering status information as the page is loaded or trying to invoke a start or stop action 
will require AWS API calls, and these will be routed through to the AWS app's backend plugins endpoint. I've also got access to application configuration information directly from the Backstage Developer Platform. Here I can see and modify existing environment variables, add new ones, or remove them as needed. For convenient reference, the AWS resources created to support the deployment of an application are provided in the Infrastructure Resources card. Most of the information is read-only reference. The solution comes with a CI-CD tab providing GitLab information. The UI components on this tab are provided by another plugin from the Backstage Marketplace. Details about the solution's GitLab customizations and pipeline implementation are covered in another video. The Applications Log tab provides developers with a convenient access to their logs for troubleshooting purposes. You can view the logs directly, search across them, or download them for further analysis. The final UI contribution from the AWS Apps plugin is the Audit tab. On this tab, you can access details about actions taken in Backstage for the current component. Audit details are covered in another video in this series, but this tab is a good place to start when you want a quick overview of application activity. So let's take a look at how the scaffolder action surfaces in the UI and contributes to the developer experience. From the Create page, I'm presented with a set of software templates that I can use to get started. Each of these templates are declared in the Backstage Reference Repository. So let's take a look at the one for a Node.js web app. First, I'm going to click on the code icon to navigate to the template YAML file behind this software template. And I'm also going to switch over to a code editor to simplify the demonstration. Here, I see a standard software template following the schema as documented by Backstage. The parameters section details the input for the application scaffolding process, and these values will be used to render the UI to the developer. Once the user has provided required input and clicks the Create button for the software template, the template's defined sequence of steps will be executed. This is where we'll find references to the AWS contributed scaffolder actions. In this example, we can see that the first step is a deploy boilerplate action. This is a key contribution that invokes a flexible provisioning pipeline. Details about the backend pipeline will be covered in a subsequent backend deep dive video. Each scaffolder action defines their own schema for inputs, which can control how the action is performed. For example, this action uses an AWS ECS boilerplate, which tells me that this application will be deployed as an ECS container service, and all required AWS resources to support an ECS service will be created through this boilerplate. Additional input parameters are passed to the boilerplate to provide instruction on how and where to deploy the application. We can see that there are other AWS actions to create secrets, and subsequent steps will create GitLab repo tokens. Of note is that each scaffolder action also defines its outputs in its schema. The outputs from an action can be referenced in subsequent steps to provide further instruction, customization, and annotations. For AWS apps, there are several annotations automatically added to a component or resource entity to help surface information in the UI cards to the developer. Moving back into the Backstage UI, we can navigate to a previous task activity and see that a developer is able to monitor the progress and specific steps taken by a software template. From the task activity list, we'll locate a previous task, click on it, and view the details for that task. Often, an application developer may not care about the details of what's occurring when a new project and application is bootstrapped for them. However, these details can be useful when troubleshooting any failures that may occur. That covers an overview of the front-end components and UI contributions to enhance the developer experience of building and deploying applications for AWS through the Backstage platform. Thank you for watching this video on application development for Backstage IO on AWS.